as soon as I saw this debate, <laughs> I would be happy to debate Bart Ehrman on the thesis of his own statement, Jesus is not Yahweh for any New Testament writer. I will debate that against Bart Ehrman with absolute, complete, 100% confidence of winning that debate. Without the slight, and that's not arrogance. That's just recognizing when someone doesn't know what they're talking about. That's not arrogance. Dr. Ehrman would be ill-advised to take up that challenge, no matter what the honorarium offered him would be, because he's wrong. So I do want to say, Dr. Ehrman, that if you stand by what you said in the debate with Dr. Bass, that no New Testament writer identified Jesus as Yahweh, why don't you prove that I am not a scholar and debate me on the subject and prove me wrong? If I'm so bad and such a, such a fundamentalist, then it should be fairly easy to demonstrate that I'm wrong. The fact of the matter is, if you were to start studying that, you would discover that I'm not wrong. But if you stand by that, then you have an open challenge to debate that thesis. ...in the fact that the reason we believe in the doctrine of the Trinity is because it is a biblical doctrine. We it's just one of those views ended up became, becoming the orthodox view, that there are three persons, all of whom are a God. My point is, the early Christians did not think this. You will not find this doctrine in the New Testament. This doctrine is a later doc doctrine that developed out of earlier views. The earliest Christians came to believe that Jesus had been exalted to God's right hand at his resurrection, and they thought that therefore God had made him a divine being. 300 years later, they were saying that Jesus had always existed, that he was co-eternal with the Father, he was co-omniscient with the Father, and that he, in fact, was God Almighty himself, the creator of all things.